Hey everybody. So I'm still working on the solar panel wiring now. I have some leftover aluminum one inch angle aluminum with the sixteenth inch sixteenth inch thick. Actually it almost looks like it might be one eighth. Anyway, got an extra piece and I'm gonna cut it into four different sections here. Uh, no specific measurements, but these are actually three inches long. There'll be three of those and then a one two inch piece. And I drilled some holes in it. I'm gonna make some brackets to mount the wiring on the roof. And uh, it will secure these Y's for the wiring for the solar panels. So that'll just fit on there like that with a with a good outdoor UV zip tie around it. And then this will stick to the surface of the roof with some of that 3M extreme tape, just like I did on the van. Uh, and they're still holding up on the van, so I think that'll work on the camper. Uh, time will tell because it's a rubber roof instead of metal. But I'm going to give it a try and we'll see what happens. So I need to cut these apart, round the corners and edges and make them all kind of nice. And then be ready to install that wiring. I'm going to cut it with my cheap Harbor Freight. I think this was 10 bucks. Cut off wheel electric. And then file the edges down with my, with my hand file. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm going to get those made up and I'll show them to you. Here's what they look like when I got finished with them. I got the edges and corners all rounded and smooth. So that'll stick to the roof of the camper just like that. And then this will get zip tied to it. And then a little one here just to maybe zip tie just wires to it if I need to. I may have to make more, but I think this will be enough. At least my first impression is this will be enough. Lightweight, strong, just tie down spots for wires and uh, these Y fixtures. And then that way I don't have to drill any holes in the roof. I'll just stick them down with some super good tape. And we'll see how they hold out. So here's how my mounts came out. This is the one in the back where these two solar panels come together. Stay here. My dog trying to chase birds. And uh, I actually ended up having to put two screws to mount it down. The tape stuck it to the rubber roof really nice, but the rubber roof is not fully secured to the wood below. So I just put two screws in there and then covered the whole thing with Dicor. I know it's covered up, you can't see it. I'll show you on this next shot how I did it. But uh, then I put two, <coughs> excuse me, two UV rated uh, zip ties here. If one's good, two's better, right? And um, that'll hold it on there. And if it doesn't, I got a whole bag full of them. So then I'm just gonna follow these lines up and I'm gonna zip tie them together a couple places just to keep them from flopping around. Attach them to the next point and then one up on the uh, other area where I have two of these Y's connected. So I'm gonna work on getting that done and then I'll take you inside and show you where I'm at there. Tie down where I used the small piece and just a single bolt, but that's, that's how I got them on there and then I'm just gonna tie these two wires here with a zip tie just like that and I got these connected with a couple zip ties so hopefully that won't flap around too much I think it'll be okay it's not gonna fall off of there and it's more than strong enough to hold just the wires then the next section I'm gonna move the ladder and we'll go right up there okay here's the upper section and this is where this panel connects with the wires coming from the other two panels. And the, all of this is wired in parallel, so I maintain 12 volts. 
all the way inside the camper. And then these two are gonna zip tie right there. And uh, I mounted this at a slight angle so the water will come down and run down the camper. And then the two wires go into the refrigerator cooler vent, or the refrigerator vent. This is where the guy repaired the thing. I had to do a little extra work on it from the fire that happened in that refrigerator and melted this thing. But it's waterproof, nobody can see it, it's not a big deal, at least it's still usable. All right, let me get this one zip tied. Those two are secured, good to go. And I've got these wires coming out right here so that if and when I tilt this panel, I just make sure that this doesn't come down and smash the wires. I don't think it'll tilt up that high, but they'll be able to tuck right underneath that hinge. And the same thing in the back. But uh, that's secured. I got a little tie right here that pulls it right up underneath the cooler or the uh, air conditioner vent. Runs right back to the other set. My panels are real dirty right now, but they're installed. Everything is watertight and sealed and the wires go down inside. So next thing is uh, going inside. I've got some of the solar components installed, but I need to tidy up wires and, and get things set down in there. So that's where I'm gonna go next. I'll take you with me.